black holes from birth to death. Imagine something so powerful that even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can't escape it. Something born from the death of a star and destined to rewrite the rules of physics itself. But here's the real question. How do black holes come to life? What happens during their mysterious existence? And when their time finally runs out, what does it look like when a black hole dies? By the end of this video, you'll know the full, unbelievable life story of a black hole, from its violent birth, through its strange existence, to its spectacular final moments. Birth of a Black Hole Every black hole begins with a star's final breath. When a massive star, at least three times heavier than our sun, runs out of fuel, gravity takes over. The star's outer layers collapse inward at unimaginable speed, crushing matter tighter and tighter until it becomes an infinitely dense point, a singularity. The collapse is so intense that it wraps the fabric of space and time itself forming an invisible boundary called the event horizon, the point of no return. Cross it and you're gone forever. That moment marks the birth of a black hole. But not all black holes are created equal. Some are tiny, the remains of single stars. Others, called supermassive black holes, sit at the centers of galaxies and weigh millions, even billions of suns. And then there's the biggest mystery of all, primordial black holes, ancient hypothetical black holes that might have formed just after the Big Bang. So if stars gave birth to black holes, what do black holes do with their lives? The lifespan of a black hole. Once a black hole is born, it doesn't just sit there quietly, it feeds. Anything that comes too close, gas, dust, planets, even entire stars, gets pulled into its gravitational grip. This matter doesn't fall straight in. It spirals around the black hole, forming a glowing accretion disk that can shine brighter than entire galaxies. In fact, the most energetic objects in the universe, quasars, which we learned about in our last episode, are powered by supermassive black holes feeding on cosmic material. But here's where it gets wild. Even though we call them black, black holes can shape the visible universe. When they feed, they release gigantic jets of radiation and plasma, stretching thousands of light years into space. These jets can trigger new stars to form and influence how entire galaxies evolve. So in a way, black holes are cosmic gardeners, destroying some things, but helping new things grow. Meanwhile, they merge. When two black holes collide, they ripple the very fabric of space-time, sending gravitational waves that we can now detect on Earth. Those ripples are like fingerprints from the most powerful events in the universe. And yet, while all this chaos happens, the black hole's heart, the singularity, remains hidden. It's a mystery even Einstein's equations can't fully explain. Does it compress everything into infinite density? Or does it hide a doorway to something beyond? Maybe even another universe? No one knows for sure. But one thing is certain. Even black holes don't live forever. The death of a black hole. For decades, scientists believed black holes were eternal. How could something that traps everything, even light, ever disappear? Then came Stephen Hawking, who flipped that idea upside down. Hawking discovered that black holes slowly leak energy through a process called Hawking radiation. It happens because of quantum effects right at the event horizon. Pairs of particles constantly pop in and out of existence. Sometimes one particle falls in while the other escapes, stealing a tiny bit of the black hole's energy. 
over unimaginable timescales, this process causes the black hole to evaporate. A stellar black hole might take 10 to the 67th years to fully vanish, far, far longer than the current age of the universe. But when it finally reaches the end, the show is explosive. As it shrinks, its temperature skyrockets and it releases an enormous burst of radiation, a final cosmic explosion that may outshine everything around it for an instant. And then, silence. The event horizon disappears. The singularity evaporates. The black hole, once one of the most powerful things in existence, is gone. All that remains is energy and maybe just maybe, information encoded in the faint radiation it left behind. So that's the life of a black hole, a cosmic cycle unlike anything else. Born from death, living in endless hunger, and ending in a blaze of energy that echoes across eternity. From ashes of stars, they rise, and in their final moments, they might give birth to something entirely new. The universe began with explosions, and maybe it'll end with the last whisper of a dying black hole. If this journey blew your mind, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments. Do you think black holes die quietly, or start something new when they go? Until next time, keep looking up, because the universe is stranger than we can possibly imagine.